And okay, now I'm actually trying my very best DDR5 uh, memory stick for memory frequency validation with both the CPU and the memory on LN2. Uh, this stick that I'm running is the Patriot Viper Gaming Extreme 5 24 gigabyte module. It's uh, by far my very best DDR5 memory stick for memory frequency validation. I already did DDR5 11100 with the stick running on air and it can actually post and boot DDR5 11000. At least it can post that frequency but it wasn't always stable to boot into the operating system but it's still amazingly good. So I really would like to see can we get close to the target dream barrier of DDR5 12000. That would be legendary and I really want to try it. Now that I have very good CPU IMC wise on the channel B as you uh, tend to run the memory frequency validation with just one memory stick on the channel B on the motherboard. So I'm running my pre-selected 1400 KF CPU which has golden IMC for channel B but the channel A isn't isn't that good compared to my other chips, but it's still somewhat okay. Uh, Asus Maximus, uh, is it Maximus? Z790 Z Apex Encore with, uh, I don't actually remember what's the BIOS, but doesn't really matter, I think. And uh, T-Rex container on the CPU, the pink thermal paste from Thermal Grizzly, so cry it out extreme. And on the memory, we are running the Bits Power aluminium custom heatsink for the memory which I've been using with all of these DDR5 sticks pretty much and now I'm actually using the Barked Honeycomb LN2 container. I could actually use the Bits Power container as well but the difference is very very small and the Barked container is actually a bit more heavier on the mass side of things so it's actually a bit easier to control the temperatures with the uh, box container compared to the bits power container but they are all very very good and Galax 710G teaches for the monitor signal with capture card as always so yeah so let's see how this performs so uh, I will uh, try to continue where I left with, uh, with on my previous session with the G-Skill stick and see how far we can do so yeah so I'll uh, start cooling down and yeah let's see what happens so it will be pretty tough so I will meet you again inside the operating system once we get everything running. Okay, I think we got it. Yeah, I think we got it. Yeah, so ten six hundred was uh, eleven twelve hundred. Sorry, so pretty tough one. New IMC. Okay, I think we got it too.
And okay, I think the highest frequency we managed to validate inside the operating system was that 5634 or 36, so that should be like DDR5 11268 or 72. And the highest frequency we managed to see inside the operating system was 5666. So that times two should be something like uh, yeah, 11,332, something like this. So that's definitely an okay result for these brand new uh, uh, Wiper Gaming Extreme 5 memory modules from Patriot. So at least when it comes to the post and boot side of things for memory frequency validation, these Patriot modules are doing much better than what I experienced with the G-Skill modules. G-Skill, the best frequency I managed to post and boot was something like... Uh, 10,200 something, so that's like uh, 5,100 something megahertz on CPU-Z. But I managed to move more inside the operating system with the G-Skill modules compared to these Patriot modules. I don't know if I'm running to an IMC limit. I tested three individual CPUs now with the memory running on LN2 and the frequency doesn't go that much higher compared to what I got on air cooling already. So the highest frequency I did on air cooled stick was 11,100. So it only went up like 200 mega transfers per second, but it's still an okay result. Serkman from Germany managed to do a bit better result with his stick. So he got up to 5,700 megahertz so that's uh, 11,400 mega transfers per second and the world record level is at 5,824 megahertz so that's like DDR5 11,650 by Hi Cookie and some guy from Hong Kong. So uh, I managed to improve the end result a little bit with this third CPU but it's still pos uh, possible I'm hitting to an IMC limit. I really don't know, but it's very hard to get the frequency any higher than this. So I need to check like, uh, could I improve it at all? It's either the memory or the CPU. It could be the board as well, because these boards, they do vary a little bit for memory frequency validation, but I don't expect huge differences between the individual motherboard like samples, but they do vary a little bit on memory frequency validation not on the actual performance configurations when you actually run the memory like for daily, sty daily style situations or just performance oriented tests on LN2 like CAS30 at DDR5 9000 and above. But yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it what I got with these Patriot modules. So I already uploaded the best frequency I managed to uh, validate on hardwarebot.org so definitely check out the result if you are interested in these brand new memory modules from Patriot for DDR5 please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my work and yeah thanks for watching some of my videos once again and I will see you on the next one